Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Scorpio love prediction reading for July 3rd through July 9th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy. Your significant other's energy or someone else is in your love space. Please keep that in mind, as, in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my intense, passionate, kind, loving Scorpios, show me Scorps. What you got going on? Let's see. Show me spirit guides. What's going on with Scorpios? Let's see. Two of Swords. The Hierophant. Six of Swords, the Death card, which is you, Scorpio, and the Knight of Swords. Huh. You're leaving a relationship, Scorpio. You're going to leave this relationship. Uh, I don't know what's happened, but as I see this portion of your read, you're leaving a relationship. Let's start at the beginning of the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is being very indecisive. You're kind of stuck in a pickle. You don't know what to do. Um, you don't know whether to stay with this person or rather to leave this person. Um, and I'm going to tell you why. And I'm going to be very honest with you because this person has not married you. This person has not asked for your hand in marriage. Because I see the Hierophant is here. And the Hierophant is about marriage, tradition. That's what you want. You want to be married. You want a family. You want a life with someone. And this person that you've been with, um, you've been with them for some time as well. You've given them more than enough time. But they've just, they have not asked for your hand in marriage. That Hierophant card represents a Taurus sun sign. But this it, it's, it's a, this is a general read, so it can't be anyone. But you know what? You're not about to stay with this person because here you are with the Six of Swords. This is moving into calmness because your nerves are shot because you always are thinking about is this when you go out with them or, or the, the next Christmas or the next birthday or whatever. Is this when they're going to ask for my hand in marriage? Is this when they're going to propose to me? They haven't done it yet. They haven't done it yet. Um, and they know what you want. They know what you want. You've been faithful to them. You've been there with them. And I, un unfortunately, you know, I, people say that you're not supposed to give people ultimatums. Um, but, you know, the way I look at it, life's too short or too long, however you want to look at it. Um, don't If the person's not giving you what you need and what you want, I know you may love them, but there's someone else out there to give you what you need you and that you want and that you can love just as much, if not more, than you love this person. Because for me, this person does not love you the same way that you love them. Because if they've not asked for your hand in marriage, they're still out there doing and dipping and doing what they want to do. And that's not what you want. You want a marriage. So you see the Six of Swords is moving away. And the Six of Swords is in the middle of this reading. This person is, I don't even think they're aware that you're about to make this move on them. Though. I think it's almost like it's very, inside, you're very, very quiet about this. But you know, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be very honest with you. Scorpio is very much uh, about revenge as well. I'm just, hey, you know who you are, Scorpio. Don't get upset with me. But I see you with this person. I see um, the death card is here. And the death card is you. That's Scorpio sun sign. And it means transformation. You are making a transformation. You're getting out of this relationship. And you're going to find something else. Because the Knight of Swords is moving courageously courageously to something else to this transformation um you've had enough you've been um very very passionate about what you want this person knew that and they i, I see you almost taking them for granted so what you're doing now is right before they their eyes they don't even realize that you're moving on you're moving on you're getting out of a relationship to get into something else or to get with someone that wants the same things that you want and i'm not mad at you scorpio i, I certainly understand 
So if you give me three to five minutes, I want to clarify the reading for you. Let me clarify the reading so that I can find out exactly what's happening. Um, if the spirit guides to give us any additional information, they've given the story, they've told you here, this is what, what you want. And this person's not giving it to you. And you, you know, I, I think you may have even given them some time, but now the time is up. So give me uh, three to five minutes. Let me clarify the reading for you. Let me clarify the reading just to find out what the spirit guides, additional information the spirit guides want you to know. Sit back, relax. Just let me find out what additional information the spirit guides want you to know. Show me spirit guides. Why is the Two of Swords here for my Scorpios? Why is the Two of Swords here? Let's see. Oh, I have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups because you love this person. You love this person. This Two of Cups says you love this person. Absolutely. Um, you thought you were on the same page. You know, you thought you had unity here. You thought you were going to be moving to the next level, which is marriage with this person. Because you've been, it's, it's time. It's time. Um, you want kids. You want a family. It's time. And, you know, there's unity here. There's love here. But this person doesn't... <laughs> they feel like that they can ask... I'm not going to say that they're not going to ask you. But who knows when they'll ask you. Let's say that. When. So let's see why the Hierophant card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Hierophant card here? Oh, told you, Ten of Cups. This is what you want. You want a marriage. You want to be married. You want to be married. You thought you thought you would be there would be a proposal by now. You want a marriage. You want a, a family, a life. That's what you want. You don't want to be single anymore. You don't want to have a uh, um a fiance forever. I don't even think this is a fiance yet. You just don't want to be in uh, have a boyfriend. Who who wants that forever? You want to be married. So let's see why the six of swords is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the six of swords here for my Scorpio? Show me. Well, I have the lovers card. Now the lovers card is all about can be a Gemini sun sign, but the lovers card is all about a decision. It's a decision card, too, and your decision is to move away from this person, and you're in love with them. You are in love with them. That lover's card is all about love, too, but it's all about making a decision. That decision is you protecting you and you moving on to get what you want, and that's what I see here. You're moving on because you want a marriage. So let's see why this death card is here. Show me, spirit guides. Why is the death card here for my Scorpios? Show me why the death card is here. Show me, spirit guides. Up oh, seven of pentacles. This is about growth. This is about growth. This is about. It's also for me. It's about teaching somebody. Um, you know, it's a Beyonce song. If you like you me, like me, you should have put a ring on it. It's about growth. It's about moving forward. It's about uh, showing someone. Hey, look, I told you. This growth here is you though. You've you're moving forward because you've come out of this cycle of waiting and waiting and wishing and hoping and praying. No, you're good enough. You don't you don't have to do that. If they don't want to marry you, somebody that you can fall in love with and that falls in love with you will. Someone will. They should have put a ring on it because here you're transforming. You're transforming. You have grown. You're no longer wishing and waiting and hoping. You've grown and you've made a decision to move on. And here's what you're going to do. Let's see why this Knight of Swords is here. I, I want to see what the Spirit Guides are going to show me about the Knight of Swords. Why Spirit Guides is the Knight of Swords here? Show me Spirit Guides. Ha! Huh. Four of Cups. The Four of Cups. Okay. So. The Four of Cups is about not giving your heart totally to someone again. It's about holding back. It's about holding back because you feel like you've put a lot of time into the situation and it didn't give you what you wanted. But you know what? You've got to open your heart back up because here's a Knight of Swords. You're, you're being courageous. And your courageousness is, is that you're moving back. You're coming back. See, this Knight of Swords is looking at this Death card, which is all about transformation, which is you. The death card represents Scorpio. This is all about a transformation, but you cannot hold back. If you want someone to love you the way you want to be loved, you've got to open your heart too. 
you cannot hold back your love because someone else did not see your goodness or what you brought to the table for them. They will. Believe you me, they will. So let's start at the beginning. Two of swords, you're indecisive because you're definitely in love with someone. You you and this person have unity as far as just loving on each other. It's an intense, deep romance. Um, whenever you're out there, you hold hands. There's public displays of affection. There's, you know, all of the above. You think alike on a lot of things, but yet and still, they have not asked for your hand. They have not proposed to you, and that is what you want. You see the hierophant, which can represent a Taurus sun sign? That is marriage, tradition. And then you have the Ten of Cups. You want to be married. You want a family. You want a life. And, and, I, and I'm not mad at you. I certainly understand. And so you're indecisive here, but here you've made a decision. And here's the lover's card, which means a decision as well. The lover's card, all, it's, it's love. You are in love with them, but you've made, it means making decisions and also means a Gemini sun sign. But you've made a decision to move away from them because you're tired of waiting and hoping and wishing and praying. No, it's time. It's time, and they should have figured it out. But here's the death card here. The death card is about transformation. It is represents the Scorpio sun sign, but it's also, it's about transformation because the seven of coins is here or the seven of pentacles, which means that you are growing or you have grown. You have looked at this situation. You're no longer waiting, wishing, hoping, praying, you trying to manifest this. No, no. If they don't want you, someone else will, someone else will, and you'll be able to love them just as much, if not more. And they'll love you back. And here's this Knight of Swords looking at this death card. There's a transformation going on. But you're being courageous because literally you're still in love with this person. So let me say this to you, Scorpio, because the Four of Cups is up here. You've got to forgive this person in order to move on. Because the Four of Cups means that you're holding back. You're guarded. You cannot be guarded and ask the universe to send you someone to love you and marry you. So you've got to forgive this person. In order to move on, you've got to forgive them. The person that didn't give you what you uh, wanted, you know, the marriage that you wanted, you've got to forgive them and move on. If not, you'll never, ever find the person that you want. You won't find the person that you want. So you've got to forgive them. You, you've got to forgive them and move on. Let's see. What do my um, oracles have to say to you? What do the oracles have to say? Oh. When they say let go, let go. They're telling you to let go from this situation. Let go. That's what they say. And I think it's important. And as I told you, the oracles also say forgiveness. You've got to forgive them to move on, to be able to get what you want. If you're asking the universe for something, they're not going to give it to you until you release your heart space and forgive. And that's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Scorpio.